Hey, I'm Callie Oaks, and today the SJ Varsity Tour Bus stops at Maxwell Field at Winthrop High School, home of the Ramblers. It's a familiar role for the Ramblers this year for the second time in three years. They, they kind of say the word quietly around here, but other coaches and other teams consider the Winthrop Ramblers the favorite in the Class C division of the Campbell Conference. Why is that? Well, we'll go into the reasons with Coach Joel Stonton and a couple of the players. They'll explain maybe why that's the case. Um, Ryan Conant. Ryan, uh, totally different uh, atmosphere this year. A lot of juniors on the team last year. You kind of knew it was maybe the, the in-between year, so to speak. A lot of people talking you guys up for all your seniors this year. What do you think about your chances? Um, well, we know we're experienced. We have a lot of depth at all positions, so we're pretty confident. Um, but we know we're not going to get too overconfident. We still need to work hard. We still need to put in the time. Um, but uh, we're looking to have a pretty successful, successful year this year. Travis Sluis. All right, Travis, quarterback of the Winthrop Ramblers, what are your thoughts going into senior year? Kind of last year was kind of a learning year for a lot of guys at the varsity level. This year, a lot of confidence going in? Uh, certainly. We, got, we practiced a lot over the offseason. Like, the receivers got together. We throw quite a bit. So we're getting pretty pumped this season. Can't wait to get started next week against Madison. Hey, you guys play in that seven-on-seven -seven league in the summer. How does that help you? Uh, it helps us a lot. It gets timing down with our receivers. Um, it gives us a look at what other teams have for receivers and just gives us a heads up for what's coming. All right, we're here with Winthrop coach Joel Stonton. Win uh, Winthrop Ramblers, uh, a lot of people talking about you guys as the uh, dirty word favorites, but you don't you don't necessarily want to subscribe to that yet. No, no, I, you know, <laughs> as, as we've had that discussion before, uh, you know, I think there's a, a, a lot of good teams around the conference this year. and. Uh, you know, I, I think that this, the conference is probably the most competitive that I've seen in probably the last three to four years. Uh, you know, I think Livermore, Moranic, Oak Kill, and Lisbon are all going to be right in the mix of things. And, uh, you know, I've had a lot of conversations with other people, too, that, you know, Dirigo, anytime you get the athletes they get coming back, you know, any sort of line is going to do something. So, uh, any, anybody's game every Friday. In the Class C division of the Campbell Conference, Winthrop was the champion two years ago, lost in the state final to John Babst. Kind of in that favorite role again, just as they were two years ago, with 19 of the 22 starting positions occupied by seniors. Not a lot of teams in Class C can say that going into any given season. That's the reason for everyone else's confidence in the Ramblers. We'll see how it plays out. Of course, some experience in the backfield as you got to know quarterback Travis Luce, as well as running back Ryan Conan. But there's some depth in that position. Also, Derek Pamphrey expected to contribute this year after a serious knee injury suffered in the preseason of his junior campaign. He'll be back in the mix along with Eric Duplissy. The line is relatively experienced. Chris Bowers, the center, is the only junior. Everyone else is a senior. Chris Halligan, Ryan Castongue, Travis Sherman, and actually Tyler Reeves is also a junior, but still an experienced group. The only other junior in the starting lineup is defensive tackle Robin Cook. Everyone else on that team is senior. Conan, a two-way starter, linebacker, along with Duplissy. Hunter Sherman, Travis Hutchins. That's going to be a good group, a key group on defense. As, as we know, when Winthrop has been successful in the past, their defense always contingent upon that speed and that quickness and able to jump off the ball and, and make tackles at the point of attack. Winthrop's schedule gets tough early. Week two, they go up against defending champion Durigo. It will be at Dixfield. That will be a pivotal game. Also, at the end of the season, Winthrop knows they'll have to contend with the likes of Lisbon, possibly Yarmouth some of the other favorites in the Class E division of the Campbell Conference, but it could be another magical championship season in Winthrop. We'll see how it goes. For SJ Varsity, I'm Callie Oaks. See you on the sidelines.